Hello, this is DiamondGuy36, and today I'm going to talk to you about zero-tick pulses, short pulses, uh, insta-wire, and basically everything that has to do with uh, pistons and sky science on a very small level. So, um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is a very short uh, pulse generators. So, um, you might recognize this as the setup for a toggle flip-flop, and in that you would be correct. Um, what we're doing is passing uh, redstone current through this block, but before the whole um, pulse from the stone button, which is one second long, finishes, uh, this piston will extend, um, and since you can't pass a signal through a piston head, that signal is going to uh, be cut short, goes into a repeater, and basically this um, sticky piston when it receives, receives a pulse that short, it doesn't know what to do. With a button pulse, um, it would have enough time to retract its block, but with a very short pulse like that, it's retracting before the block is fully extended. Um, and then when you extend it again, it has a chance to retract the block. Um, and you can obviously do this with repeaters on both sides. And you can also use sand, gravel, and red sand as the um, blocks on top. And for that, you won't, you'll um, not need a sticky piston. You can use a normal piston under the um, object, and it works just the same. Um, and then there is. Uh, you can get a very a much shorter pulse. Uh, people call this a zero tick pulse because it's shorter than an actual um, one tick pulse like this one here. Um, and here we go. You can see that that block got pushed away instantaneously and grabbed instantaneously very quickly. I'm gonna wire these all up and um, you can watch them extend at once, and you'll see. This was the quickest, this was the second quickest, so the zero tick pulse was the quickest, and then we had the one with one repeater, but um, it's still, the repeater here still slowed down the signal, and then we had these two at the same time, which are obviously two repeaters each, and pretty much the same thing for the retraction. Um, yeah, so, then um, over here, what I have is a demonstration to show that you can actually alter pulse lengths. So, depending on the setting of the repeater that comes out of this short pulsing um, piston, it, you can give different pulse lengths. This is a two tick pulse, which is obviously not quick enough to spit out the block. Three tick pulse and four tick pulse. And I guess I'll just uh, do all of these at once so you can see them like we did with the other ones. There you go. Um, now also, this uh, very short pulse can be used to make an instant knot gate. And what I mean by this is normally, as a knot gate in Minecraft, you'd have a redstone torch, but these have a one tick delay. Um, you can see, there's a short delay before the piston gets retracted. And um, these can completely el eliminate it. So if we have a sticky piston, redstone block, and we have our uh, output here, you'll see as soon as a pulse is sent through here, it's going to turn off because the redstone block was moved away from it. We can obviously have that right there. It instantly cracks, and then it waits 1.5 ticks for the redstone block to come back before extending again. Okay. Um, and here I have a chain of them set up, all feeding into one another, and uh, due to the way this works, they group themselves in like groups of two redstone blocks. You can see our final piston is over there at the end. And uh, yeah, it's not so instant with this one, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, then, yeah, this is just demonstrating that with the instant hot gate. Another thing to note about these is what happens when you try ordering these pulses. So, what I mean by that is that we have two pistons here. The w redstone doesn't have any delay on it, 
and therefore they should be extending at the same time, filling the same space, but they can't. So it has to pick one. The game, um, in this scenario, when the button's in the middle, it picks that one. But if you have the pole, uh, shorter redstone line going to one than the other, the game processes it quicker, and so you can see, even though these were both powered, the one with the that's on the same side as the button extended. This happens for both sides, and then yeah, in the middle, uh, that's up to the game to decide. And if I just um, put these back, what seems strange is for the first one, it extended this piston by default when I hit the middle button. Then it does this one. Then it does that one, but now it's going to do that one again and again. So it seemed to alternate, but after a certain point it's proven that it doesn't. Um, aside from the fact, this doesn't really have much to do with it, but uh, if you have a sticky piston or a piston and then a block diagonally, a button over it, some redstone dust, uh, that will bud the piston. I was just experimenting with some of the orders of pistons. Um, and yeah, I found that. So if you ever need a quick bud piston, there you go. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so um, to prove this even further, I've gone with some command blocks. Except these work seem to work really strangely in that um, respect. So here I've got five command blocks labeled uh, with commands, and they're going to say a number from one to five in my chat. Um, and obviously, when I hit the button, it should trigger them all in row, in a row, one, two, three, four, and then five. Uh, but instead, we get one and three. I uh, will read here, then four, and five, then two. Uh, and it's just completely different for each button hit. You can see um, they're in no particular order, even though. Um, for like this one, it should do five, four, three, two, one. Um, it still behaves a little odd with even just three, although it behaves normally with two, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, we have one, three, two with the first one, uh, three, one, two with the second one, so it didn't prioritize itself here. And then for the last one, we have uh, the first, the one that. It, the button's nearest to. Then we have the one that it's farthest to, and then we have the middle one. And I don't know if these things are chunk dependent at all, um, or whatever. I'm sure the game uses some kind of coordinate based thing to decide this, and directional stuff, but, uh, yeah. If you have two like this, then it's obviously going to work perfectly. I hit this one, we get one, two. This one, we get. 2 1 because this is the second command block, this is the first, and it works every time with this uh, setup. It's very strange. Um, now, there are some interesting things we can do with the zero tick pulses. Here I have another zero tick pulse generator. This is using the instant not gate. Um, and what happens is when this redstone block, this sticky piston gets a pulse to bring back this redstone block, at which point it'll power that piston, uh, moving the redstone block out here, powering this redstone line, which powers that piston, moving the redstone block away, um, and unpowering it. And this all happens very quickly, which means it, uh, you can see it spits out the redstone block very quickly. Now, um, Another thing here, uh, oh well, that's another version of the zero tick pulse generator. What I have here is um, that the redstone blocks will power other pistons in a row, like that, but when you're retracting them, they won't have any delay. So uh, basically, when this is moving backwards, it's block 36. This is the um, block being moved by a piston uh, state and it's basically can't power any of these, so um, it's not powering the next one, and the game all realizes this all at once, and um, they all retract instantly. Let me just check something. Okay, never mind. Um, and then, as shown in Deco's Deco the Redstoners instant four by four, he used these zero tick pulses to his advantage. And uh, of his channel and videos, link on that linked in the description.
But what he showed was using these zero tick pulses to um, basically move two blocks at once. So uh, what would happen is here you'd retract it would retract this, and then this would get updated with like a zero tick pulse because of that setup. Um, even though these should be retracting instantly, we get these nano ticks, as he calls them, that are from um, or micro ticks that are caused by the game having to process the pistons. So when that extends, it updates that one, and that's a nano tick or a micro tick. I'm sorry. Um, then this one's another micro tick. Then we have the redstone being updated, and then finally that piston. And you can see these got retracted all at once. Um, and unfortunately, they don't extend the same way. Um, but yeah, when we have the two blocks like that, and extend, retract the system, it retracts them both at once, and they kind of collide as they're moving, and they do it all in 0 0.15 seconds, which or one and a half redstone ticks, which is the um, extension pe time period of a piston, which is equal to three game ticks, which are 20ths of a second. Um, here is um, another setup to demonstrate these short pulses, so I'm going to get rid of that redstone dust, and as soon as I replace it, you'll see that block sped out, um, sped out really quick and then re-grab. Uh, there you go. And uh, that's just kind of demonstrating the zero tick pulses with um, the pistons kind of bud powering and um, zero tick pulsing each other. It's interesting stuff. But, um, yeah, I hope you found this little explanation helpful. I find these things quite interesting, and I thought I'd share it, um, some of the things I found about this with you. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.